Hi again. Um, I'm here just to do a quick review on my Josephine wallet, um, the Louis Vuitton Josephine wallet. I think it's kind of a new wallet. I've never heard of it before. But back in June, I um, I really wanted the Emily wallet. So I went to Louis Vuitton and looked around a little bit, and I, I saw this wallet. And... Um, so I, I, I knew what the Emily wallet looked like, but kind of, like, I, I just saw this one and I thought, okay, this looks similar to the Emily wallet. So I asked the so sales associate there, um, is this the Josephine wallet? And she said, yeah. And I said, okay. So I opened it up and I immediately loved it. It's red interior. I'll show you that. Um, and it says made in France. Um, it opens up all the way, where I think the Emily just stays like this and you just kind of open it. So I immediately, I love that. So there's um, six card slots right here, and then there's a back pocket where I keep like extra cards. And then there's this pocket here with my like appointment cards and important papers. Then there's the zipper here for your coins, which I kind of don't keep coins. I just keep like I don't know, extra little papers or whatever. And then there's a back pocket. This also, of course, comes out. I think the Emily does too, and a lot of their um, wallets uh, have the zip zipper compartment comes out as well. So there's a back pocket here. And actually, there's two back pockets. So there's this pocket here, and then there's another back pocket where I keep my bills. And then it actually goes, you know, you can stick your hand all the way down. So it's kind of a really great wallet, and it's really thin. I love how narrow it is and thin and, you know, it doesn't get bulky. And this is pretty much what I really wanted. So when I went in there and I asked the sales associate if this was the Emily, she said yes, and I, th I said, I'll take it. I love it. I love the red. And then when I got home, I pulled out the tag just to look at everything, and it said Josephine on it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's not the Emily wallet. But... And then I kind of got shocked for a second. I'm like, oh, I really wanted the Emily wallet. But then I, I opened it up again. I looked at it. And I'm like, you know, I really like it. I'm just going to keep it. The girl just didn't know that it was the Josephine wallet, which is kind of weird. When you work at Louis Vuitton, you would think that you would know <laughs> what everything is. But she wasn't my, my sales associate. She wasn't there that day. And I just needed a wallet. So I went in. But I already dropped the wallet once um, on the cement. So it's got a little scuff mark there. And I was so upset about that, but I took it in and the girl said, you know, just don't change it now. It looks fine. Wait until the it starts to peel and then, because it's going to cost like $35, which I don't care. But I thought, eh, it's not that bad. I'll just keep it for now. So I really love this wallet. It's kind of long for like smaller bags, but like when I take my Chanel Jumbo out, which isn't all the time, but when I put it in, it kind of takes up pretty much a lot of the length of the bag but I still can fit a lot in but so I think I I want to get one more just like a half size wallet possibly Louis Vuitton maybe one of the multicolors I've never had anything multicolor and I really love the way that looks before they're discontinued we'll see but I'm not really a wallet person I think I'm more the type like I one wallet is perfect for me and I'm happy um, maybe two and I'm just I don't need ten wallets there's other things that I want instead of like 10 wallets, but I think it's great that girls have 10 wallets. I, there's nothing wrong with it. If you like it, that's your thing, that's great. So I do love this wallet. And then while I'm here, I'm just going to show you a pair of um, rain boots that I got that I've been eyeing. They're, um, I don't know if this is kind of a large box, but it's the Burberry Pro Sum boots. And, um, you know, we had a flood here a couple months ago, so, and it was sewage water flood. So um, I lost my rain boots, and I usually wear all my rain boots for um, winter as well. So I just needed a pair of really nice boots, so I got these. I don't know if you can see them. They're um, the Burberry Pro Sum. They're just so classy and elegant looking, like a rider's boot. Um, just really pretty. And you sometimes from a distance, you can't even tell that they're a rain boot. It almost looks like could be like leather from a distance. Really cute. They're called Brain. B-R-A-I-N, like brain. That's the name of these boots, which I thought was kind of funny. <laughs> but, and then inside it's got the lining 
the Burberry lining. And it feels really nice. It's got more of like a, not a plasticky feel, like the boot, like a rubbery feel. So it seems like, like if you were not to wear socks, which I always wear socks with boots, but for some people that are in a hurry and they just want to stick their feet in, you get that sweaty feeling with rain boots. But this I think you'd be fine. But I, I always wear socks. And I, as a matter of fact, I wear like the knee-high socks sometimes, especially in the winter, because these will not keep you warm. I just, when I shovel snow and everything, I just throw on whatever I've got. So I really like these. Um, they were kind of pricey, but I got a 30% off from my friend who works at Nordstrom. So I saved like 90 bucks. So it was really worth it. And then um, just, um, I was out the door and I just have my trench coat on from Athleta. It's just a cute little trench coat. I probably can't scoot back to show you, but it's just up to the knee. You know, nice little trench coat. I was going to throw those on. And then a lot of people might be wondering, but I have like tinsel in my hair. My hair colorist, uh, she likes to put tinsel in my hair. She ties it in really cute. So it's kind of, it's like four days old. I haven't washed my hair, but anyway, I thought I would just share... Um, the boots along with that little review. I really love this wallet. So if anyone's interested in the Emily, I, I love the Emily. I think it's great. But if you wanted something that opened up all the way like this, I suggest even the Josephine. It's such a cute wallet and it's, like I said, it's narrow, it's compact, and it does its job and it's durable and I love it. So unless you drop it like me and you scuff your little button. But anyway, I just thought I would share all this with you. Just a little unboxing. Well, it's kind of a, like an unboxing, but a little reveal and then a review. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.